Hi, Hi Rupert Zane Smile. Smile. And it's Easter season, and for us, it's the start of picnic season. <laughs> for the past three years now, we celebrate Easter by having a picnic brunch in our favorite rose garden. Mm -hmm. And although it's been raining like it is today, the forecast tomorrow is just cloudy, so we're still hoping we're able to go. We want to share some of our picnic recipes with you for your next spring or summer outing. And our criteria for a good picnic baon or food <laughs> yeah. is one, it has to be easy to carry. Two, it has to be easy to eat outdoors. And three, it's a bonus if it's something easy to make and you can do it, like prepare ahead of time. Right. Like what we're doing, we're, we're preparing it tonight so that tomorrow morning we don't have to yeah, rush. So the first thing on our list is a sandwich. Japanese tamago sando, which is basically just simplified, it's egg salad sandwich or egg sandwich, right? So we're gonna make the we're gonna make the egg salad today, but we're gonna assemble it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to assemble the sandwich tonight because if we put it in the fridge overnight, the bread might get soggy, soggy and yeah. we don't want that. This is super easy. We just slice our hard-boiled eggs into small pieces, then mix all the ingredients together. This is sugar, salt and pepper, milk, and lastly, Japanese kuki mayo. Then we'll keep it in an airtight container, and that's it. It's ready for tomorrow. We'll also be making spam wasabi balls today and then we'll just reheat it tomorrow before we leave. Simply slice the spam into small pieces. And then we'll cook them in a pan with oyster sauce, soy sauce, and sugar. I'll help you make the sushi rice, okay? Okay, thank you. This is hot, watch out. Looks mm. like that's a lot of spam. That's a lot rice. of spam. <laughs> They'll probably not use all of it then. No. To make sushi rice, we add sushi vinegar and sesame oil to the rice. Now we'll mix the spam in the bowl with sushi rice. We'll add furikake, but this is optional. And then we'll tear the roasted seeds and add scrambled eggs. Now we'll shape them into small bowls. And since I don't have kitchen gloves, I'm using this saran wrap. We'll just add a bit, about one or two tablespoons of the rice. And then we'll squeeze it tightly to prevent them from crumbling. And that's it. We'll store them in the fridge overnight. That's huge! <laughs> what? I thought it was the same, but it's huge. Next are the ham and cheese rolls. And the first thing we need to do is remove the sides of the bread. Then we'll roll them until they're thin. Spread a bit of mayonnaise. Then place strips of ham. Add some cheese. Then roll them tight. Wet the edge with water to seal the rolls. Using the bread edges that we moved earlier, we'll make some bread crumbs. We'll stop the preparation here and cook these tomorrow. Last thing for tonight, we will start preparing for our bacon triangles. Again, using a wrap, we'll scoop a bit of cooked rice, put cheese in the middle, and shape them into triangles. Then we'll wrap them in bacon. If it's too long, we can just cut that out and use it for later. 
We'll pause here, put them in the fridge, and cook them tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning! We just got back from church and thankfully it's not raining today. No. So we're now going to finish preparing our picnic food. The first thing we're going to do is assemble our egg salad sandwich, our tamago sando. Okay, so there's not much to this other than putting it on one side of the bread, spreading it as evenly as you can, and then put the other half on top of it, and then slicing it, slicing the whole thing in half. There you go. For the ham and cheese rolls, I'm just going to beat an egg. Then we'll dip the rolls on the egg. And then onto the breadcrumbs that we made last night. And then after this, we will fry them and they will be super crunchy. For the spamasui balls, it just needs to be reheated in the microwave. It's best that we put um, a wet paper towel on top of them so that they remain moist and soft, especially since they were in the fridge overnight. And for the bacon triangles, we'll simply cook them in a preheated pan brushed with a bit of oil and butter. We'll cook it on all sides. We already have our picnic basket ready. Our coffee is done and go. we're ready to go. We hope you'll try these simple picnic recipes uh, just in time for celebrating the nice weather outside for spring and summer. Thank you for joining us today. Bye! Bye.